Welcome back and thanks so much for being with us here on Morning Live. Now, millions of South Africans depend on different SABC channels for news in their home languages. Now, some of the languages are aired every two days across the free-to-air platforms. And in an effort to satisfy the ever-growing audience, the SABC is launching a 24-hour news channel for African languages on DTT and SABC+. Now, to help us unpack this exciting move for the public broadcaster, we joined in studio by SABC's Group Executive for News and Current Affairs, Mushwe Shwemunare. Thanks so much for coming through and Happy New Year. Thanks very much. Good morning and good morning to the viewers. And, you you know, it's, it's, it's such a privilege to start the year. It's my first day back and, and, and to come Welcome. back with a really, really good news story and, you know, a very exciting uh, provision by the SABC for its viewers. But, you know, before we even get to the launch, let's talk about uh, the SABC and the provisioning of news for all South Africans in all the official languages. Mm. Look, for a long time and... Um this is what we need to remind ourselves as a public broadcaster, to say millions of South Africans depend on us as the source of news. And we're talking about more than 10 million people who every single day, they look forward to news in their own languages. And unfortunately, uh, because at the moment, we only offer um, those news content bulletins on the free-to-air entertainment channels. So they can only accommodate us um, in less than 30 minutes of uh, Zulu news, about 15 minutes of Swati news. So what this channel is going to do is that every single day is going to give South Africans who are making appointment with us every day to watch their uh, bulletins in their own languages. Now it's going to be every day, every hour. It's going to be a 24 hour a news channel which will be on our digital platform um, i'm sorry our digital platform that is dtt uh by the way dtt is going to be free to air terrestrial uh, platform but the quality of the content is going to be so super uh high it's going to be better than your <laughs> your platform but also it's going <laughs> to be on um, sabc plus so we're talking about more than 10 million people who will be watching news every day in their um in their language because like Currently, there are some languages where people have to wait for two days mm. in order to view or watch news in their own languages. And uh, what it does is the fact that as a public broadcaster, we've got this responsibility, both morally and constitutionally, to make sure that we reflect the diversity and plurality of the South African society and give that content in all our 11 languages. And this is the excitement of this channel. And, you know, it, it, it really is, you know, so refreshing to hear and um, it really does make one smile thinking about the prospects of all of this. Because as you say, in certain instances across the free to air channels, given the limited time, uh, the language, uh, the, 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 the news channels in indigenous languages still draw some of the biggest audiences that we have across television. Yeah, just to give you an example, I mean, the um, lunch hour Zulu news, we are talking about 1.5 million people. Um, in later bulletins in the evening, Zulu news it will give you 2.5 million people. I mean, our one of the newest uh, b um, b um, language bulletins, that is the Swati at 5.30, is giving you 1.5 million people. And to me is the fact that we are not really catering for this audience in their own platform in which they don't have to wait and also remember the consumer behavior people who consume news content they don't wait for prime news anymore they want news each and every hour and that's what we'll be providing and by the way the name of the channel will be ekaya which is stronger for home and which will resonate in other languages for example in isuzulu will be ekaya so it's more about they will feel at home because now the news content whether it's international news sports local news economic news will be in their own languages and this is where we also going to encourage the newsmakers politicians business people in uh, the, the industrial leaders to also tell the stories in African languages. And this story, of course, too important uh, not to get across clearly. So we're going to take a quick break. And then uh, when we come back, we'll continue this conversation with the Group Executive for News and Current Affairs here at the SABC, Moshua Shomunare. Do stay with us.
And welcome back. Uh, still having a conversation about a very exciting development here at the SABC. As you can see behind me, as it says, 24-hour news channel in your language. And that means all South African language, the official languages, the SABC launching a channel that will cater to all of this. And I'm currently in conversation with the group executive for news and current affairs, Mushweshwe Munare. Uh, Mushweshwe, you know, uh, the question then, of course, is this is going to be a 24 hour channel. The look and feel of it, you know, what can viewers expect? Look, um, what viewers can expect, like I said, um, um, you know, all our bulletins will be uh, featured, but also uh, remember currently, we also have current affairs shows in indigenous languages. And those are the current affairs shows that will be um, uh, enhanced. I mean, some of them will give you more um, episode that currently, like Lithalasi Chaba, Ilugelo Lako. Um, so those, they will, um, instead of one um, current affairs show a week, you will have more current affairs shows. And uh, also what it will do, it will also capture the proceedings in parliament. One of the things that is more, is core and important to our democracy that we have really been ignoring is more to capture the proceedings in parliament to also translate what's happening in parliament in terms of new legislations, new policies to translate it into ind indigenous languages, but also to tell people what their representatives in parliament are doing and that will also be captured in the um, in the new channel just with regard to clarity in terms of the language coverage of course you have 404 um this uh, channel that we're going out now yeah. um on this in sabc2 you've got 404 that is an english medium channel so one would imagine that is taken care of so in terms of all the other languages uh, that will be taken care of on this new platform, would that include Afrikaans as an example? Yeah, Afrikaans is in, it's in the South African language. So when we talk about African languages, we include Afrikaans. So the channel will be more every language um, except English, because English obviously is catered in 404. So what will channel, uh, the channel will do is that we will have blocks, we'll have shows in which we package all current affairs and bulletins in um, our 10 languages, you know, I'm, ex I'm excluding English. So that's what we'll do. And you will see, it's not going to be a replication or a translation of 404. It's going to be a totally uh, a new channel with, with its own rhythm, its own features, which will, you know, um, I mean, it does not necessarily mean the person who will be watching the channel will not be watching 404, because these are going to be completely new channels catering for a complete different audience. I must say I'm very excited about the sort of content that could possibly emerge because there is now a platform on which uh, to put it out. But when? When is all of this likely to take place? We will place? reveal the launch soonest, but it's going to be this year. I'm hoping that in the new financial year. But like I said, it's going to be, we are talking about more than 10 million people. We are talking about a news channel that's going to be bigger than all the four um, South African news channels. So just watch this space. Well, I can't wait. I must say, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited. And as uh, Mushweshwe Munare says, you know, looking at the SABC as a public broadcaster, the public uh, broadcast uh, service mandate, and uh, making sure that you get to hear and see all of these news programs, current affairs programs, in the language of your choice as a South African. If it's a national uh, recognized official language, you will see it here on SABC. So I can't wait. And Mushusha um, Munare will tell us as soon as that is available. Right, we're going to park that one there. Something exciting to look forward to here on SABC uh, for the next year.